A blessed good morning. Welcome to this weekly devotion brought to you by Sanan's Anglican Church. I am Audrey Major Rowe, a member of the Vestry and Pastoral Ministry. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for taking us thus far through 2022. Thank you for all the goodness you have bestowed upon us. There were periods from 2020 up to now where many of us didn't think we will make it. Many of us have been through much grief and losses. But you, Lord, kept us through it all. We look forward to you uplifting and blessing us in 2023. Amen. Nothing in life can prepare us for the death of a loved one, whether death from a sudden accident or chronic illness. Nothing can prepare us for a job loss, loss of health, a divorce, a miscarriage, loss of mortgage, a house, a relationship, or sometimes even retirement. With every loss, there will be grief. Grief does not come and go in an orderly manner. Sometimes we think we are pushing through, then we slip back. Grieving makes those around us uncomfortable. Persons do not know what to say or how to act. Yes, grief, my friends, is painful, but it is a necessary part of healing. So, what is grief? Grief is everything we think and feel inside after someone we love dies or leaves or something we are attached to goes away. Grief is the human response to loss. For as much as I can remember, I have experienced loss in so many ways. I know about losing many family members tragically. I know about the loss of my marriage. I know about my time at the hospital where many babies were born dead. I know about deaths in the hospital that overwhelmed me so many days. I know about trying to console relatives in the hospital when told their loved one did not make it. I know about financial loss. My friends, grief is a personal and individual experience. It depends on your personality, your coping style, life experience, and your faith. The grieving process takes time. There is no normal timetable for grieving. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, in her book on death and dying, explains the five stages of grief. Stage one, denial. You can be in shock, fear, this can't be happening. Stage two, anger. There is frustration, anxiety, irritation. Why did this happen? Who is to blame? Stage three, bargaining. Struggling to find a meaning, reaching out to others. Make this not happen. I will do this or I will do that. Stage four, depression. Overwhelm, hopelessness, helplessness, hostility. I can't bear this any longer. Stage five, acceptance. Moving on. A new plan is in place. It has happened. I can't change it. These stages can last for different periods of time for some and for others may experience just a few of the stages. The feelings are normal. It will get better. You will not get 
over the loss, but you will survive it. To heal, one needs to understand the stages of feelings you will experience. All feelings are normal. There is no right or wrong way to feel or think about loss. Allow feelings and thoughts to be what they are. Cry, talk, write, or do some physical activities. We know God never intended for our hearts to suffer grief. He gave us his word to help us through it. Psalm 34 and 18 says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. God understands our grief and promises to be with us, to comfort us with his word and give us a peace that transcends all understanding. Philippians 4 and 7. So my friends, I admonish you to pour out your heart to the Lord and tell him all that grieves you. Ask him for his healing touch and the ability to look at your pain with the right perspective. In addition to looking to God and his word for comfort, please share your pain with persons you can trust. Friends, family, counselors, supportive people who accept your feelings and thoughts. We must also remember to look after ourselves as we grieve. Face your feelings. You, must, you may try to suppress your grief, but you can't avoid it forever. Express your feelings. Talk. Write it down. Write your thoughts down. Try to maintain your hobbies and interests. Don't allow anyone to tell you how to feel. Look after your physical health. Get your meals on time, take your water, exercise, rest, have some quiet time, and avoid alcohol. Plan ahead for anniversaries and holidays. These are the times when your grief can be reawakened. In closing, here are a few tips I wish to leave with you as it relates to grief. You are not alone. Grief is a normal human part of life. Crying is a gift. Tears honors your loss and helps relieve emotional pressure. You are lovable even in your grief. You will survive no matter what. Grief never really goes away. Over time, it becomes manageable. The stages of grief are predictable, but not uniform. They vary among circumstances and people. You have on hand your priests, your prayer groups, and others. They will help you understand what is going on and explain why you feel the anger, sadness, pain, etc. The persons who walk with you will hold you up when your knees buckle. There are many books you can read, pieces of music that can heal your wounds. Use them all, my friends, and you will proceed to a conclusion that the Lord has designed for you in the time he has provided. Thank you for listening to these devotions today. Please share them with your family and friends. <music>